Hi everyone, this is Jupiter Jim from jupiterjim.com and this demonstration blog is using WordPress version 3.0.1 along with Thesis Theme version 1.8 and what I'm teaching you will work with any version of WordPress or any version of the Thesis Theme or any WordPress theme at all. What I'm going to be teaching you in this video is how to add an image such as this Mosey image to a sidebar. This Mosey image is in sidebar 1. I'm going to add the same image at the top of sidebar 2. Now adding an image to a sidebar is completely different from adding an image to the body of a post which I showed you how to do in a previous video. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to open up my notepad file where I have already typed in some HTML code. But don't panic, you don't need to know any HTML code to do this procedure. You just need to know how to cut and paste. Okay, as you look at the top, you can see I'm in Notepad. If you're using a Macintosh, use a similar Word uh, text editor program, which is the simplest one that you have on Mac. Okay, what you should do at this point is pause the video and then copy every line of text exactly with every space exactly the way you see it right here and type it into your notepad and then save the notepad and then keep this open once you're done with that just right click and select all right click again and copy click in the white space to deselect and then just minimize you don't even need to close it Next thing I'm going to do is you need to get into the dashboard of your blog. Now, I've already logged in, so I'm going to click this tab. This brings me to my blog where I've already logged in. I'm going to scroll down, and to the right of appearance, you see the down arrow. And you're going to click on widgets. Scroll down until you see sidebar 2, because we want to put the image at the top of sidebar 2. Just open that up. You need to do that first. Scroll down and you're just going to mouse over until you get that cross here. Click left click and just drag it and the screen will scroll down as you drag this up. Okay. Now you're going to just kind of position it so it goes on top and then it usually opens up automatically. Okay. Now you're going to click in here. You get the gold area letting you know you're inside that widget, the gold outline, and just click paste, left click on paste. Very simple then you're going to save your work so you don't lose anything. Now it says paste URL from Media Library. This is HTML uh, code. The beginning part of this tag is an image tag. IMG stands for image. SRC stands for source. So we need to get the source of that image. To do that we need to go to the Media Library. So you don't even need to close that. Just scroll up here. Click on under Media. Just click on Library go to the image that you've uploaded and I showed you how to do that in other videos just click on the image that you want and this will open up scroll down where it says file URL to the right of that just click in here you won't get any type of a bar blinking bar to indicate that you're in there so don't don't worry about that just click in here right click and then left click on select all right click again and then left click on copy click the gray area to deselect scroll back down to widgets go to you can just close sidebar 1 for now open sidebar 2 click to the right on the down arrow to open the text widget now where it says just highlight this paste URL from media library first I'm gonna hit backspace or delete to get rid of that then I'm going to right click and paste the URL that we just copied from the media library. I'm going to save my work again so that doesn't get lost. Now the A, this is another tag, it's called an anchor tag in HTML. The A stands for anchor, href stands for hyperlink reference, and this lets us know that if we click on anything between the beginning opening A tag and the closing A tag, which you can see here, anything in between there if you click on it it will bring you to the address http jupitergym.com which is fine but in this case we don't want to go to jupitergym.com we want to go to mosey.com so I'm gonna click up here on the tab in my browser that brings me to the mosey.com website I'm gonna click in here and just drag highlight the web address in the web ad in the um, address bar of your browser 
right click and then left click on the word copy and in Firefox and Internet Explorer you will see the HTTP colon slash slash in front of the web address you do want to copy that we did copy it this time you just didn't see it because it doesn't show up in the Google Chrome browser back to the dashboard I'm going to highlight once again where it says jupitergym.com put the cursor back in here right click paste and we're done if you want to get rid of the space between the letters and the quotation marks be my guest if you don't get rid of the space it will affect nothing uh, just before we hit the save button well let me hit the save button first um, I want to let you know this is an opening div tag up here and that's the closing div tag anything in between that will be aligned to the center you could put right in there or left if you wanted to. We've already saved it. We're going to go back to the blog. Click here. We're going to hit refresh or reload or F5 at the top of your keyboard to refresh the page in the browser. And you can see that the image does appear at the top of sidebar too. Now if I mouse over it, look on the lower left, you don't see anything. As I mouse over the image on the lower left of my browser it says mosey.com and that lets you know where the hyperlink is going to take you. I'm going to click on this it brings me to mosey.com and that's how you add an image and a hypertext link to a sidebar in WordPress with or without Thesis Theme version 1.8. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.